A convoy of truckers and their supporters have been rolling through highways across the country. The group is protesting a federal vaccine mandate that came into effect January 15th, and it requires unvaccinated or partially vaccinated truck drivers crossing the Canada-U.S. border to quarantine for 14 days. Now with more on this, let's bring in one of the truckers participating in what's being dubbed the Freedom Convoy or the Freedom Rally. Uh, that's Harold Jonker, who's joining us from Fort Erie this morning. Good morning, Harold. Good morning, Candace. Thanks How are for you? Very good. Thanks so much for Hi. joining us. So uh, let's dive right in. The truck convoy has been dubbed the Freedom Rally, as we mentioned. So what does that exactly mean Hi. to you and why did you want to participate? Um, I got involved with uh, organizing the uh, the Negra area um, to, um, yeah, stand up for our freedoms. We've uh, over the last two years, have been dealing with a, a pande pandemic, and it's now um, been two years since they said two weeks to flatten the curve. And I think uh, Canadians are saying we need to um, move on. We need to con continue on in life, and we need to, um, yeah, end all mandates. For sure. So, Harold, we're hearing from politicians that 90 percent of truckers are vaccinated. So I'm just curious as to how this directly affects you. How, how does this quarantine affect you? Um, what it is, is I've uh, I've been crossing the border for 22 years and um, my our company it has 20 some trucks that have been crossing the border for 20 well, about eight, nine years, and now all of a sudden half the guys are sitting at home and can't work. So it's going to affect a lot of Canadians because about two million pounds are going to be not able to uh, cross the border. I'm getting a phone call in, so hopefully my, my Zoom, my, my cameras act is okay. But Okay. So let me jump ahead then. While there has been a lot of support, we're seeing that in the B-roll and all of this, this movement is gaining some negative attention as well, linked to hateful online rhetoric. Uh, so what's your response to those concerned about extremists veering into dangerous territory and maybe kind of hijacking what it is you hope to accomplish? Well, that's one thing we we're very conscious of. Uh, there's always with any protest, there's going to be some people that uh, are going to try to make it something that it's not. And, um, but yeah, we can't, um, we can't, uh, we can't control everybody, but we can control the message that's coming out. And, and the message is that we are not we are not a violent group of people. We're a group of people that are concerned. You've got families that are supporting this. It's, it's unbelievable how much uh, support we're getting. And um, we didn't expect it to grow like this. I'm in Fort Erie, and it's just unbelievable. We're leaving here shortly, and um, it's just unbelievable how... There's kids walking around here with their with their mothers. And uh, so, yeah, it's not it's not going to go violent. That's for sure. OK, well, Harold, I uh, know you're busy. You are en route, as we can see. But thank you so much for taking the time to shed some light on this for our viewers, folks. That's Harold Jonker, co-owner of Jonker Trucking. Safe travels, Harold. Thank you very much. And thanks for taking this time.